When I did my after treatment series, I talked a lot about after treatment history, and I still say that's a very important file to look at because it tells you over the last 10 events, the spacing between the events in terms of time. You can look at the temperatures and see if you had an extreme outlet temperature versus what was normal. And you can also look at the DPF plugging. So I wanted to uh, show you an example of history where something changed really uh, radically or drastically, but it wasn't a problem once we understood why and we just continue to monitor. And so here we go. Let's take a look at, at what was causing this strange behavior. So here we have a screen print of a regen history and I put in a couple blocks there in the center to help us understand what's going on. First, let's look down at the bottom. Uh, that 862 degrees outlet temperature is lower than the rest. That's just because it was in a, re a driving regen and the operator probably had a step on the brakes or came to a stop, so it kicked out before it got up to full temperature. Not a problem. As you can see, the restriction was 1.1, and that's not enough restriction to trigger a regen. Take a look at the green line here on starting diesel oxidation catalyst intake temperature, and they're all above 300 degrees or 400 even. So you can tell that this was a all driving regens. None of these were stationary regens that were done with software. Now I've got some red blocks I put around the temperatures versus differential pressure on the right. And these differential pressures are low. There's not a problem there. I just wanted you to notice that the outlet temperature was higher than the uh, normal in here. And that's because there was more soot load. And there's different reasons for the soot load. Cold weather, excessive vital time, maybe working at a job. And pretty much this unit was regenning because the timer and the software told it to. Remember I told you on the ISXs on the highway trucks, they regen about every 100 to 130 hours. Well, this is a this is a TMS crane. It's a big, heavy crane. You can look it up, Google the picture, and see what it looks like. And it has a uh, ISL9, and that engine runs on a completely different timer than the uh, ISX highway engines do. So if you look over on the left, the time since previous regen, it's pretty much... 28, 28, 25, 25, 25, right on the timer. And on the right, the maximum diesel particulate pressure we saw was 2.2. And that's not really enough to cause the engine to go off the timer and just regen because it had to. So this is an example of a very good regen history. We're happy with it. And we'll continue to monitor this every time the machine comes back. Take a look just to make sure that nothing's going on. Because the last thing you want is a machine going to a job and then the customer calls and says, hey, this thing's got a problem and you're running a guy out there to take a look. And nobody likes to fix stuff on a job site. You like to do it at the shop where there's less pressure. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe.